a story you've told me a couple of times is the story of King Christian and how for the very beginning of your life, uh, you were actually al alive when that story took place. For those of the people that aren't super familiar with that story, could you give a, a brief uh, retelling of the story? Well, uh, every day uh, King Christian would ride his white horse through the streets of Copenhagen and uh, stop and talk to people and have them uh, asking questions and tell their woes and what they wanted. And everybody loved that. So um, when the decree came all over Europe that the uh, Jews were supposed to wear a yellow star, Denmark was occupied by the Germans at that time. So he couldn't uh, do anything about it. Instead, he, uh, next day, as he rode through the streets of Copenhagen, he wore a, a yellow star. And before the day was gone, uh, most of the people in Copenhagen did too, because everybody loved the Danish royal family. Were you alive when uh, this took place? I don't know, because I was very young during the war. I wouldn't be able to remember it from uh, my own experience. And also, we lived in a different uh, part of the country. Would you say that this story has had a fairly big impact on who you are as a person and your world worldview? The story? Yeah. No. Really? But, uh, to me as a person, Yes. No. Uh, I, I mean, I, I love the story, don't get me wrong, but um, I think that the royal family as a whole, yes, they, they had a great influence on me. I mean, everybody loved the Danish royalty, uh, and they were great leaders. I think that they're an example of that when you take everybody's interests into account, then uh, people will follow you and, and do what you say. So as such, uh, this, this story is great. The thing about this story is that it actually didn't take place. What would you say to that? That's unlikely that it didn't. Just because um, it's so typical of, of what the king would do. He, he was a king of a small country against a, a very big power. He couldn't fight. I mean, there was no way for, for a small country like Denmark to fight. One big point that kind of disproves the story is that Jews in Denmark weren't actually forced to wear the Jewish star. It sounds very unlike me. Except that the king managed in some way or the other. I mean, obviously they didn't weren't forced to wear it because uh, the end of the story is that because they all wore the, the star, then they made a, a fool of Hitler, so he, he said they didn't need to. I actually did some research into this story and I found I found out how it kind of came into development. And it actually ties into something you were mentioning earlier about the Danes, you know, it would have been pointless for them to fight against the Germans when they invaded because uh, they would have lost. The rest of the world watched this and the uncharitable ones, especially in America, thought that Denmark was allegiant to the Nazis. So there was a group of thinkers who who thought this and even propagated it in, pro in popular media. One of the more popular examples of this would be uh, the Washington Post. They actually uh, published an article where they basically teased and uh, ridiculed King Christian for being allied with the Nazis. So around the world, Denmark wasn't necessarily looked at favorably. There was a group called the National American Danish Association, and what they wanted to do was they wanted to give Denmark a more light view. They wanted to find any excuse they could, anything they heard, and turn it into something that could be used so Den Denmark could be liked. Something interesting that they heard was that the, that the Nazis did tell King Christian, hey, your Jews in Denmark are going to have to wear the Danish stars. To King Christian's credit, he did say that that's not going to happen. 
word of, about this was reached to this association, but of course what they did, because they wanted to really utilize this information, they fabricated bits of it, and this led to the notion that, you know, the Nazis did pass this legislation that Jews had to wear the Jewish star, and this led to the Danish people wearing the Jewish star. So that's how that story got started. Um, what do you think about that? Well, I mean, it's a long time ago, and... and uh... Even with the information we have that there was no... We know that there was no legislation passed about the Jews being forced to wear the, the Jewish star. We, we still can't... You would say we still can't confirm one way or the other that this story did not happen. Right. My point is, again, like, why weren't something good? Uh, there are so many things about the war that was bad. Why would we want to, to, to mess with a perfectly good religion? It's probably true that it isn't true. Mm. But, but, but uh, it certainly has served a purpose. Right. And he would have done it. I mean, it's, it's not... Um, I, 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 I mean, it, it, it's, it's a little bit difficult thing because it's... I, I mean, the, the subject you chose is a little bit difficult because, um, you know... I don't think, personally, I don't think any history is true because it's all, all, always seen from, the, from one person's point of view and it's generally the winner.